prairie eel. We'll be using two 160s. I've chosen lime green and yellow, each with about five inches of tail uninflated. Then I've got two five inch rounds, a yellow and a red. The red are to about an inch, the yellow to about maybe two inches, each tied off very close. We're going to start by taking the ends of our two inflated 160s and tying them together. Let's trim that excess off really close. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lay them alongside each other and twist them together to make about an inch and a half to two inch bubble. And then set that down. Grab your red and divide that into two equal bubbles. This will be his eyes. I chose red because it will make him look mean. Boys like that. Twist that around where you've got the two of those together. And then we're going to take our yellow and I chose the yellow to coordinate with the color that's going to be the bottom color of our moray. Divide those equally. Twist those two together around the other side to give him his cheeks. And I know moray eels don't have big puffy cheeks like that, but I thought it just makes him look a little cuter. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go along the length of this and about every two inches twist them together and then take, and it doesn't matter which color, which side, a twist, a pinch twist to go on either side. And we're just going to repeat that process until we run out of balloon. This way you get that long, snaky, but flat appearance, because they're flat this way if you look at a more eel. This is also great for an electric eel or any other type eel type creature. Continue all the way down, about every two inches, a bubble, followed by two pinch twists. Like that. And then either when you run out of balloon or you get tired of going, you can just tie the ends off, and we'll do that here in a moment. You can see it taping shape. Now it also gives him the fact that he can sort of wiggle and move around. Adds to his creepy effect. And of course, you know how little boys love that. Now you can include him one of several ways. You've got choices. You can take this all the way to the end. Or if you want a longer tail, you just come to wherever you want to stop and tie those together. Or you can pop one off and have a single color on the end. So it just depends on what you want to do. I'm just going to keep going just a little bit more here. Should be able to get one more set like this. Another set of pinch twists. And then once I get to the end here, I'm going to deflate some of the end of this green, just like that, and then tie these two ends together, including like that. Trim off any excess you've got there. Let's put some eyeballs on him. This is also good for a snake, electric eel, or whatever. Let's hold him so you can see them all. And there's your little more eel.